How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my channel. My name is Frank for those are new to the channel. And please, if you're liking my videos, do not forget to subscribe, like them, and leave your comment for suggestions and anything you wish. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to change your steering rack and pinion bashings because uh, the ones on my car are very old and they're making like noises when I am driving on the road. So let's do it. The bushings that I'm going to change. I bought them on Super Pro on the um, suspension.com and they're made by polyurethane so they should last a bit longer than the stock ones. So those are the parts and to do this stuff you will have to take off your front wheels and of course jack the car. Uh, it's better to jack the car from, uh, from the center and make sure that it's safe to you, to you work under the car. So what I'm going to do now, I will just take the wheel and um, chuck the rear wheels and start to disassembling them. Hey guys, so as you can see, the wheels are off and I've just checked the car with those rocks because I don't have jack stands yet. So I have three points of jack. I have one jack over there that's safe. I have these two rocks over here where I should have jack stands, but it will be enough to work safely because everything is nice. So now what we have to do is to pick up our brake bar and start breaking loose the nuts. Uh, here I have my brake bar that I'm going to use just to show you guys I'm going to use to lose these two bolts <laughs> I mean these two bolts this one and this one here on top on the driver's side we also have two bolts that I will going to use the brickle bar now let's break the first one So after you break loose, you are going to use your ratchet with a 14 millimeter and you will just start to unscrewing the, the, the bolts. And as you guys can see, the first bolt is out and the second one are out. So to take out the second bolt is kind of tricky because it hits here. So some people say that you have to disassemble the, the, the support bar right here. But what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to disassemble the other side. Then I will move a bit the steering rack, and I should be able to take out this bolt. So here on the driver's side, as you can see, we have two bolts: this one right here, and this one on top. So we are going to disassemble those two to make sure that we can move our steering rack and make it easy to take out our bolts kick update here so as you can see uh, i can't insert my brickle bar here to break loose uh, the nut and with one wrench it should be uh, shorter so to make sure that i can break this nut i will use two wrenches so this is the trick you insert the wrench like this and you will have longer uh, wrench to take out the bolt to make it easier so as you can see with the long wrench you just insert the wrench and start taking out it should come out easily now let's do the same on the top all right guys as you can see here i just took off the top bolt now i will be able just to move a bit the steering rack to make possible to remove the ones on the bottom and the one right 
here on the passenger side as you can see that one came out easily now we'll just take out this other one all right guys as you can see i have the bolts the both bolts out so to take out you just wiggle this uh metal part right here it will come it will pop out then you will be able to take out the, the the bushing but before that i think as you can see here i have like rubbers right here i just used a, a used a old tire rubber to insert because the bushing was very bad so i will just pass a footage from uh, where on how i did that to try to fix temporarily the noise the squeaking noise while i was waiting for the new bushings i will just pass the footage right now so what i'm going to do now i will take my scissors and cut a layer of rubber and then insert this layer of rubber inside and see if that fits and it holds the steering rack without moving or going anywhere as you can see it's very very worn i need one of those urgently all right guys finally i got the thing out this is the first bushing that i took off and as you can see it is like pretty warned as you can see it wiggles like hell and it was very very bad so this is the metal part that engages the bushing this is the rubber that I use as I showed you on the the footage to you before and now I will do a quick comparison with the new one so as you can see the hole right here because the bushing was worn it was getting it was behaving like an something elastic so the pinion rack has a lot of space to wiggle inside of this so as you can see the new one is made by polyurethane and this bushing is beautiful <laughs> and it's thick as it should as you can see the bushing still in good condition so it's new I mean all right guys so back here to the driver side so as you can see these bushings were press fitted so to take them out I should use a press and blah 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 so to use a press I have to disassemble the wall rack just to take out this just to take out these two bushings so instead what i'm going to use i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this rubber piece then i will beat them in that way to make sure that they pop out let's see if that works Alright guys, as you can see, I tried to cut as much as I could, now I will put just a wrench here with a hammer and then I will beat it out to make sure that it pops out. Alright guys, since we don't have too much space on the back, what I'm going to try to do, I will cut the back 
and try to hit from the back. I hope it works. Ah. Oof. As you guys may see, now we have the first one on the driver's side out. Now it's time to go to the second one, the hard one. Damn. Jesus. This one is tough. I've just cut it ah. as much as I could, but I'm still fighting. This one is tough and I don't have, I still don't have any position to take it out, but man, I gotta be a man. So let's keep working. Hit the remaining rubber with this candle because I don't have a torch. Yeah, I'm a dumb. I don't have a torch. This one is giving me a lot of job, but it's on its way, it's coming out. As you can see, it just popped a little bit, but I will just keep trying to take it out. It will come out. So what I did now, I took this tool and I inserted right there. And I'm trying to hammering the, the tool right here, but it seems to be working. You know, you gotta have some ideas. As you can see, it came, it's almost out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going just to hold it right here and try to push until it comes out. And oh my God, I can't believe it's out. Woo. Your little crazy thing, it's out. As you can see right there, I have the both bushings out, the one here and the one here on the top. I'm so happy. <sighs> now, let me just show you how they look like. Those ones are the stock ones. Is one is, as you can see, is one piece. So you have the rubber here. So to insert this one, they just press fit it with a press tool. But this one, as you can see here, it's a module modular it's is is very easy for diy stuff like what we are doing so you just have these two parts this this one and this one you just insert them like this from the both sides and then and then you just insert the metal part just like this you see very easy comparing to this one so I will now clean a bit inside there to make sure that we put our new bushings it's time to install the new one so those bushings are made by polyurethane so you have to grease them before insert them hopefully they they gave me a, a bit of, of grease to grease them up so I will grease them up then I will show you how to insert them you can see this one is greased now it's time to insert it. As I told you before, to insert these ones will be a lot easier comparing to the stock ones. As you can see this one, as you can see, this right right here, it's in. I will just insert the other one. As you can see the both are in and then you have to insert this one I will just have to hammer it all right guys finally I, I got both of them inserted here on the passenger side on the driver's side now it's time to move back to the passenger's side all right guys now I have the one from the passenger side greased up. Now it's time to insert it back to its position. All right, boys and girls, as you can see, 
the only thing that you have to do is to install it back then now what is left is to reinstall the bolts and the job is finished you, you just have to jack, unjack the car put your wheels and drive your car safely and good yeah guys that's it I got the bolts all inserted everything tied up and the job is done so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video next time that you need to change your your rack and, and pinion bushings don't worry just watch the video and if you're driving a toyota or any other model the process is quite straight the same the only thing that will change is the format of the bushings the 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 the, the, the bolts the size of the bolts and things small things like that but the principles is the same so thank you once again to turning into my channel please do not forget to subscribe hit the bell notification to get notifications when i post new videos so that's it guys for today i hope you enjoyed peace